Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a refreshing lemon ginger mojito. Before we get started though, you know it. Subscribe, like, and share. Get notified so you don't miss any of these great recipes. So these are our ingre ingredients. This is a refreshing drink for the summer. Like you can drink this all day long. It is so good. It's not too sweet. It's super duper flavorful. All we need is some sugar, some lemon, some ginger, some fresh mint, and that's it. And some water, of course. So with the lemons, I have a total of um, three lemons that I'm using. You obviously can double, triple the recipe based on how many people you're serving. So with the lemon, um, the one lemon, I slice it up. The other two, I'm gonna just cut it up. So peel it and then cut it up. Make sure you take as much of the, the white bitter part off of the lemon. We don't really want that in the drink because we're gonna blend all this up and strain it anyway. You don't have to worry about the seeds. Up next, we're gonna peel our ginger. Easiest way to peel ginger is by using a spoon. You see, it just comes right off. Super clean, super easy, no fuss, no nothing. And that's it. Now we're gonna slice up the ginger. With the ginger, we're gonna slice it up. Some of it we're gonna use for decoration. And then the other part, we're gonna blend it up with the lemon, some of the mint. And then you see, I'm taking out the nicer slices. That's what I'm gonna just put aside for, um, for decoration purposes after our drink is finished. And some of the ginger has hairs. Just take that out and blend it up with everything. Again, because we're straining, it doesn't really matter. So we'll start by making simple syrup. Simple syrup is literally just what it sounds like. It's just sugar and water, equal parts, simmer it till everything dissolves, let it cool, and that's it. Simple syrup is born. Super easy. And you can flavor it too. So you can like add vanilla to this and you know, it's up to you. But we're just doing simple syrup today. So now we're gonna blend our lemon, our ginger. I always start with the lemon and ginger first. And then once that is um, nice and blended, I add the mint. I just do it just because I don't want the mint to be too bruised up, if that makes sense. So once I blend that lemon and ginger water, then I add the mint, blend it up. This is gonna get strained. So it doesn't matter if you blend it up finely or whatnot. Once we get that going, now we are gonna come and this is gonna be part of um, what we serve. So what we're doing right now is just getting some more flavor out of the mint and I just take the ugly pieces of ginger and I blend that up in here. So you add some sugar because the sugar helps bruise the mint and you just use, um, you can you just, you can literally use a mortar and pesto. You can use the back of a wooden spoon to, the, to do this. The idea here is the goal. We just wanna bruise the mint and extract all kinds of flavors from it and the, um, the ginger and the lemon as well. So you do that to your liking. I personally like to do it um, for just a little bit because I don't want the mint to turn brown. So once you get that going, now we strain our um, blended mixture, the water, the ginger, and the, um, and the lemon, and the mint. And once you strain it this first time, we don't wanna throw that away because that still has a lot of flavor. You notice when we blended it, we didn't put that much water. This is why, because we are going to reuse this meat that's coming out right here on the plate we are going to add some more water, put it in the blender and blend it a second time to extract more flavors out of it. So that's why we didn't put that much water to begin with. And that's it. I mean, this is very simple. You cannot mess this up, you guys. Try this drink, it is so good. So right now I'm just putting it in the blender. I'm gonna go ahead and add more water and then blend it and then come in, um, strain it again. So once we are finished straining, our drink is almost finished. Our simple syrup has already been made. It's, um, it's cooled down, so now we can put it in the drink to sweeten it up. What I recommend, because we don't want the drink too sweet, put um, half of it, taste it, and then make sure it can take the rest or however much it can take. In my case, it could definitely take the rest, so I added the rest. Right now, you can just chill it until you're ready to serve it. And when you're ready to serve it, I have some um, some brown sugar on my cup just for decoration purposes, some ice. And that's it, you guys. I have some more awesome recipes coming for the summer. So do not forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.